Ask your mind if I say what. What, are, what would you say? Men are better at than women. Um. I don't know. A lot. I think. I think both have have their pluses and minuses. Um, I think men are better at um, at. Uh, oh my gosh! You can't think of one thing. That's right, people. That right there is the undying sound of feminism. <laughs> you know, I think I have a little too much fun with this type of stuff. But, hey, who am I, man? I'm just a guy on YouTube having a little fun. But anyway, before anybody gets a chance to go into the comment section and point it out, yes, yes, you are correct. This is a gameplay I uploaded previously. Now, the thing is... When I came across this story and I wanted to make a video, I realized that I did not have any gameplay to put to this, that fresh gameplay. So, you know, I, I just didn't think it was necessary for me to fire up an app just to play one match or on whatever game I choose to play, just for the sake of getting footage for this video. So, no shame on my part, no shame on my game at all. But anyway, so it's no secret that E3 was, uh, well, quite frankly, a snooze fest because, yeah, it, there was just really nothing to write home about. I mean, besides Cyberpunk 2077 and uh, I guess you can say EA's presentation of Jedi Fallen Order. But, you know, other than that, everything was just boring. Ubisoft, boring. EA Play, extra boring. But us normal folk, us normal gamers, are uh, not the only ones that were upset with E3 this year. Apparently, the feminists were very upset as well, and for a very different reason. So, as it says on Polygon.com, says, E3 2019 was a bad year for female representation in video games. According to Feminist Frequency, oh, should I be surprised? So it says, Feminist Frequency's annual look gender representation at E3 doesn't look good for women. Okay, I'll bite. I, I will indulge in this. Let's, let's read. So it says, A new report from Feminist Frequency published at Wired looks at the gender breakdown of protagonists, video games, and of represent of presenters excuse me at e3 and the overall takeaway is this 2019 was a bad year for women's representation at e3 e3 2019 had the lowest percentage of female protagonists since feminist frequency first started collecting such data in 2015 okay I, I have to ask this so just two questions for feminist frequency well maybe just one why the hell collecting this data even matters seriously I don't understand what what is the purpose of this it, it, okay let me just keep reading so it says according to the report 5% of games featured exclusively female protagonists this year whereas 22% featured exclusively male protagonists this year 65% of games shown offer players multiple options when picking a gender overall there has been a trend for gender choice in video games, but Feminist Frequencies report emphasizes that gender choice in games isn't enough. It's not just about having the option to play as a woman. It's about centralizing video game narratives and play around women. Well, you know, okay. You know what? I don't think I'm going to even finish reading this article because I just feel like my brain cells are diminishing by every single word that I read because it's just it's just that dumb this this I don't they're literally contradicting what they're saying it's saying there's not enough female representation it says there's more gender choice in video games 65% of games show offer it shows offers you can choose multiple options when picking a gender. So people can choose if they want to be female or male. Or in Cyberpunk's case, you can make whatever you want in between. 
I mean, you could just let your freak flag fly like crazy in cyberpunk. But oh no, oh no, not to the feminists. That's just not enough because there's not enough female representation. <laughs> Still, like what the fuck? I mean, am I the only person that sees so many women in video games now? Like there are females everywhere. There is female representation everywhere in the gaming industry now. Like seriously, there is no triple A game that comes out that has no type of female character that doesn't make a difference in the game i mean god battlefield 5 ea shoved a piece of sjw bullshit down our throat for the sake of feminist and for the sake of gender equality and the game just turned out to be straight ass i mean I'm, it's better now but it was it wasn't even a good game when it first launched so that just made it worse and then I mean, it's just, you have women everywhere in gaming now. And their feminist frequency is sitting here complaining like, oh my god, there's no female representation. Like, what the fuck? You know, because there's not enough female protagonists and the game isn't centered around a damn woman. Like, it, it, <laughs> like, when did it come to this? When did it come to this? When did gaming become somewhere where everything has to be fucking politically correct? It used to be just mindless fun, but now we got to make sure, oh, it's enough, it's enough women. Is, is there enough women in this? Let's just make sure, you know, we don't want anybody to be pissed off or outraged running to Twitter. Or, <laughs> you know, it's like, when did E3 events become a battlefield? No pun intended. But when did it become a battlefield of, of, of seeing if protagonists in the new games have a fucking penis or a vagina and for whatever reason to people that makes a goddamn difference if oh it's a woman that makes the game ins instantly good if it's a man i guess it's bad <laughs> i mean god man you even had people pissed off that keanu reeves was going to be potentially the main protagonist when it turns out he's not <laughs> it's like what the fuck man it's just what the fuck i just don't understand it at this point all this bitching over not enough women which is a lie but it's like back then 10 years ago 20 years ago in gaming it, it there was hardly any women in the gaming industry you know there was hardly really any female representation at the level that it's in now but it's just not enough for these goddamn feminists it's just not and people wonder why i don't like feminists you know it's just it's give me everything and fuck everything else and it's plaguing the world of gaming my safe space of gaming is just it's just being torn apart by fucking gender equality god you know i i just i don't know man you know I, I just can't fucking do this no more i'm hurt my brain hurts my heart hurts because it's just like what the fuck man we got we have people literally tracking data to see how many fucking rep like in the rest of this article like they are literally tracking the percentage of how many women are are like presenting at e3 and also the how many protagonists is in the game like in games like what the fuck it's, it's just i don't know man you know it is what it is i will never understand feminists and i honestly don't want to because that's just a fucking circus that just, just doesn't need to be understood but anyway this uh, you guys thank you for watching if you're new around here please subscribe that would definitely help me out a lot would appreciate it if you like this content go ahead and hit that like button until next time i'm out man